Hi. Now, for this question, we're given the simultaneous equations 2x plus y equals 1 and x squared minus 4ky plus 5k equals 0, where k is a non-zero constant. And in part a, we've got to show that x squared plus 8kx plus k equals 0. So for this first part, if you haven't done it and would like to have a go, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, for this, I notice that what we've got to show here is an equation that hasn't got y in it. So that means that I'm going to take my two equations, I'll just number them 1 and 2, and I'm going to make y the subject from 1. So if we just come down here, OK? So for part A then, all I've got to do is just say from 1, just put an intro here, from 1, make y the subject. And that would mean to subtract 2x from both sides. So we get that y equals 1 minus 2x. And all I've got to do now is substitute this into equation 2. So we'll just say sub in equation 2. And if we do that, we're just going to have x squared minus 4k multiplied by y, which is now 1 minus 2x. So just put that in brackets, 1 minus 2x, and then plus 5k, and that equals 0. So if I expand the brackets now, we therefore have x squared minus 4k, and then minus 4k times minus 2x is going to give me plus 8kx. And then we've got plus 5k, and that equals 0. And if I group up my terms, x squared here, and then we've got 8kx, and then 5k minus 4k just gives me plus k, and that equals 0. And that is what we had to show. Now for the next part, we're given that x squared plus 8kx plus k equaling 0 has equal roots. And we've got to find the value of k. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So for this part then, part b, we're told that this equation has equal roots, and we should be familiar with this concept about roots of an equation, of a quadratic that is. For equal roots, if we take our equation as having the form ax squared plus bx plus c equaling 0, then b squared minus 4ac should equal 0. So that means that our b is the 8k, so it's got to be 8k all squared for b squared, minus 4 times a times c. a is 1 and c is k, so we've got 4 times 1 times k, and that should equal 0. So I just expand the brackets now. And we've got 8k all squared is going to give me 64k squared. And now we've got minus 4k, and that equals 0. Factorising this by pulling out 4k as a common factor, we've got 4k multiplied by 16k to give us the 64k squared, and then minus 1, and that equals 0. So... This would mean that the factor k could equal 0, or the factor 16k minus 1 could equal 0. And we know that we're told that k is a non-zero constant. So therefore, k can't equal 0 here. So we'll just put, since k cannot equal 0, it must mean that 16k minus 1 equals 0. 
So from this, it would follow that if we were to add 1 to both sides, 16k would equal 1, and then divide by 16, k would equal 1 16th. Okay? So there's our value of k. And they just wanted the one value, so that's also a valuable check. Okay, well, let's just carry on down here and we'll move into the final part, part C, which it says, for this value of k, find the solution of the simultaneous equations. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So to do this, we know that k equals 1 16th. And all I need to do is substitute this back into this equation here. So if we do that, we're going to therefore have x squared plus 8 times k, k being 1 16th, multiplied by x, that's our 8kx, plus k, so that's plus another 1 16th, and this equals 0. Now there's many ways I could do this, but I think I'm going to multiply it throughout by 16 to get rid of the 16s here. So that will give me 16x squared, and then for this term we'll just have 8x, the 16s will cancel, and for this term 1 16th times 16 just gives me 1, and that's going to equal 0. So, if I look at this, this is going to factorise. We know it's got to have equal roots, so it's going to be two brackets that are going to be exactly the same. And looking at this, it's going to be 4x and 4x, and it's going to have to be plus 1 and plus 1. Check that out, you'll see you'll get 16x squared plus 8x plus 1. So that means that th this factor here, or this factor, they're both the same obviously, just take one of them, one of those factors must be equal to 0. And from this it follows that x would equal minus a quarter. If we just subtract 1 from both sides, 4x would equal minus 1, and then divide by 4, x would equal minus a quarter. Now we need to get the corresponding y value, so I just need to substitute this into any one of my equations. But the best one to substitute it in is this one up here when you're using a substitution method. So I'm going to call it 3, because it gives us y directly. So I'm just going to say sub in equation 3 and that would mean that therefore y would equal 1 minus 2 multiplied by minus a quarter. And so it follows from this that y equals 1 plus 2 times a quarter. That's going to end up as 1 plus a half and so we end up with one and a half or three over two. So therefore, our solution, just to summarize, is x equals minus a quarter and y equals one and a half or three over two.